What's up guys, Luke here again. Welcome back to episode number three of the FIFA 18 training series, the collection book. So we're still on the web app. Now this training was done when the game wasn't even out. Actually no, this get this training was done when the early access was out. So uh, we will be catching up very, very soon. Probably not this episode, but probably the next episode uh, we will be on the console and we will probably do some live episodes as well uh, because I want to start buying some players for the, uh, for the team. So as you can see here, win ourselves a Draxler for around 2.4k, list him up for around 2.9k. Pretty decent deal there. Uh, obviously, like I said, this was when the uh, the web app was uh, more like... The web app was used a lot more because obviously 10 hours on EA Access, no one wants to sit on the market. Nelson Semedo there, 6,000 coins for him, list him up for around 6.9k. Uh, about 900 coins profit there, which is very, very nice. Now, this series doesn't do as well as some of the... Well, it doesn't do as well as I'd hoped. Um, but hopefully the guys, you guys that do watch it do really enjoy it. And if you have any other ideas on how I can actually improve the series, then make sure you let me know in the comments down below. But as you can see there, we're on around 13,000 coins. Go and get ourselves a left forward. Forward, Niang for 2.9k. The next cheapest was actually 3.5. So I can list mine up for around 600 coins profit, uh, which is pretty decent. I mean, obviously, left forward method. I've already done a video on it. Very, very effective method. Uh, and then as you can see, we go and get a Carvajal now for 4.4. 4,400 coins, sorry. This is up for around 5.1k, which is uh, pretty decent as well. Uh, he's probably gone up now. Uh, I haven't checked his price in a while. Um, I was just doing a little bit of mass bidding on some uh, higher rated players. This was, like I said, this trading was a while ago. Uh, Jesse Rodriguez there, left forward 2.8k. Good list him up for around uh, 3.8k. Well, uh, so we make around 1,000 coins on him. Jesse Rodriguez, obviously, uh, BPL Spanish left winger. Very, very nice. El Sharari now at left forward for 3,000 coins listing up for around 5k so we're going to make around 2,000 coins profit on this card uh El Sharari, very, very good to trade. We obviously now he's in, well, he's in the current team of the week. Uh, Kembo, a uh, Kembo, what's his last name? A Kembo Akobe, uh, 3.5k for him. We list him up for 4.9k. Uh, this was when everyone started to do the uh, the SBC for Charisma. Um, so as you can see here, Carvajal, Semedo, El Sharari, Niang, Jesse Rodriguez, all sold very, very quickly. 19,000 coins we are on. And we go and pick up a uh, David, uh, David Neres, so around 4,000 coins coins list them up for around 4,800 uh, Brazilian 74 rated decent pace decent dribbling in the Eredivisie we then go and get an Emre Moore for around 1.5k well we actually get two uh, one for 1.5 one for 1.6 and we list them both up for around 2.4 and 2.3k I believe um Emre Moore, obviously when he was a bronze, he was uh, more popular and more in demand. Uh, but anyway, we go back to a uh, Dortmund player here, which is uh, Park Ju Ho. For around 1,100 coins, going to list him up for around 1.5k. Not the biggest of profits, but at the stage that we were at during this uh, episode any profit is good profit now i will have some more videos out on trading methods because uh, i see a lot of you guys asking in the comments and tweeting me and stuff uh, asking for tips but anyway as you can see we get uh you now for 1000 coins this is up for around 2.4k we then go and get alexi warby for 2k and we listen up for around 2.6k another quick little profit that we can make in five ten minutes uh, if we list him up he will make some uh, nice coins there as you can see 5k now for this moreno from new Newcastle, list them up for 6.6, .6, that being the cheapest on the market, and you'll see that he does actually indeed sell Richarlison for 1.5, list up for around 2.4k, pretty decent profit there as well. Then, as you can see, we go and uh, pick up a Linz or Linez uh, from Galatasaray right back. 3,400 coins. This month for 3.9k. Uh, obviously, not the greatest deal. But then, as you can see, this is when we start making profit from the SBCs. Uh, so, obviously, the Galatasaray players, I was doing a little bit of sniping with these on the web app. Uh, I was in a Skype call with a few other people, and we were all trying to do this method. Uh, it was pretty decent. Working out kind of well. I mean, I managed to get a, a one exceptionally good deal and that's here Nigel De Jong for 500 coins I just got Nigel De Jong for 500 coins like <laughs> 74 rated and you can see when I actually search for him uh, I can sell him for around a 2300 coins so that's like a ne nearly a 2k profit on one silver player and I've made probably over 400k on my main account from silver trading now I cannot express enough to you guys how effective silver trading is uh, in my opinion it's the best way to trade if you don't want to snipe um, because you can literally go and spend 50k on silver players 
and you can just flip them incredibly quick. Like I might even do a, uh, actually thinking about it now, I'm probably going to do a separate video, do like a 50k uh 50k challenge i'm gonna pick up a load of silver players uh, i'm gonna show you guys how to make coins as quick as possible and i think that could be a pretty decent video so i'll make sure i do that as well 3.9k now for this uh, jason denae we're gonna see him up for around 4.7k uh Obviously, another Galatasaray player. Obviously, if you don't have to use him for the SBC, but he's very, very uh, not beneficial, but he's more effective because he's a higher rated one. Uh, 1.5k for this under here, and then we're going to get a Kieran T. Is it T? Tyreni, Tyreni, I'm sorry if I've got that name wrong. If you are a Celtic fan, 4,000 coins, that's up for around 4.9k, I believe. Then we go and get two of this silver guy. Uh, one for 1.2, listed up for 2k. Uh, so make around 800 coins profit on him. And then as you can see, the next one we get for 700 coins, which we're going to make more profit on. I don't know what was happening there with the market. The web app was really, really glitchy. And I actually really don't like trading on the web app this year. I, I don't know what it is. I just can't stand it. Um, I think it's... I think there's too much on the screen at once, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think as well. Uh, 2,000 coins for this for Charlie Sim, listed up for around 2.9k. Uh, Cabano from Fulham. Get this guy for 350 coins. Now, this wasn't a bad... Well, at first, I thought this wasn't a bad buy, uh, but it turns out I can only double my coins on him, which is still good, but I thought I could have got more. We get this Carol here for 1.2, and uh, you'll be able to see that I list him up for around 1.6, which, again, he looks like he should be going for more. Now, probably on the market now, he's probably a lot more expensive, uh, but we'll just have to wait and see uh, when I do this silver video. Um, so, as you can see now, uh, we get two of these Bernardos. Now, these were uh, Red Bull Lights Pig. Um, sorry if I said that name wrong, uh, right backs. I believe he might be the only watch, you know, Klosterman's a right back from there as well. But I was just searching for the right backs because there's a little bit of hype around them this year. They've got some pretty decent players. Uh, they seem to be playing quite well in the league, but we're going to get this uh, Hakimi, I believe, for 1.5k. Good listing up for around 2.3k, making some pretty nice profit there. Real Madrid silver right back. As you can see, we come back. De Jong, Akobo, a couple of the uh, Galatasaray players, Iwobi, Richarlison, Camdel, Hakimi, Neres, they've all sold, run around 9,000 coins because that's because we've gone and bought some more players. Uh, as you will see, we're going to get this uh, type, this guy again, this Celtic right back, left back, sorry, for 3,000 coins. We're going to still up for around 3.9k. Then as you can see, we also going to get another one of this Neres or ne Neres, I'm sorry, if... Some of you guys are IX, IX fans or just Dutch and you know how to say his name or even if you're Brazilian, please let me know um, because I could be saying his name completely wrong. But we get a couple here. Uh, we get a Marvi as well for 2.3 that we're going to stop for 2.9k. Uh, going to make some pretty nice profit on him. Then, as you can see, uh, we've got around 23,000 coins now. You now sold Moreno, uh, Cabano. I believe this was after like 12 hours of listing them up. Um, but I do really enjoy trading on the console. And like I said, uh, probably not. Maybe the next episode, I might have some live trading in there or maybe the episode after. But anyway, we're going to get a Tyson for 3,000 coins. And we also get a Bruma for 2.2. At left forward, in for 1.5. We then get a Wobi for 1.5, I believe that is as well. 3K for a Tom Davis. Next one we get for 4.1, we get a Sacco for 1.5, Tammy Abraham for 450 and three Hakimis, uh, one for 950, one for 1.3 and one for 1.2. Uh, so you'll, I'm going to list all those up now and as you can see when we come back, uh, the web app has been zoomed out a little bit. Uh, but yeah, Tyson sold, Bruma sold, a lot of the players sold, Emre Morse, we finally got rid of those, uh, Abraham sold as well and we've also gone and picked up some uh, Balde Caters. Well, we picked up one. We got a Cater and we got two Pulisic's. Uh, the Cater, I believe, is just a, uh, a snipe for around 5.9k. I list him up for around 6.7. Uh, sniping on the web app so much harder compared to console. Um, Pulisic, I believe that's how you say his name, from Dortmund, the right forward. Pretty decent card this year. We're listing his, uh, his right forward version up for around 4k, uh, getting him for around 3k, so we're making some pretty nice profit there as well. Uh, you'll see me actually list the last one up now. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this series. Like I said, let me know if I can improve it in any way let me know if i'm saying any of your players names wrong uh but the next episode will 100 percent be on the console and from then on out there will be on the console so that's that's a lot better in my opinion uh, as you can see 
Cater, we get another couple here that we're going to stop for around 6.7k and then we uh, also get another one here that we get for around 5.8 5.9k as well i believe there's only a couple of deals left um but we're on some pretty nice coins at the moment and i know i think it was the last episode of this i asked if there was leaderboards because uh, i couldn't find them on the web app, but on the console there is uh, which is pretty decent two more caters we're going to get here as well uh, making some nice profit on all of these uh, obviously when we get on the console we are going to be making some big big profit and i mean that we are going to be going so hard on trading this year i'm really really enjoying it and then as you can see we come back we get two connor play anchors and these are going to be the last deals for this episode if you did enjoy the video please be sure to drop the video a like it does help out a lot subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you on the next video peace